I'm about to go on a Disney cruise all by myself. I am so nervous and so excited and just really feeling all the feelings. But we're going on a Disney cruise because it's the Halloween on the high seas. I have never done a Halloween cruise before and I just feel like this is going to be the perfect way to celebrate the Halloween season. So we have a little over an hour drive to Port Canaveral. I just got my coffee. This is a pumpkin cream cold brew. I have my water. This is my new emotional support water bottle. I just got some cash for tips and ready to go. So I'm gonna put on my Halloween playlist and I'll see you guys at Port Canaveral. Let's go. Guys, I'm here. The ship is right in front of me. I love parking right here, like right in front of the ship. It's just so exciting. I just dropped off my luggage and now it's time to go board the ship. Please welcome aboard Emily. Thank you. Welcome. I got a wand this time. Guys, I got the Moana room. I'm, I cannot believe this. She's one of my favorite princesses. The backdrop is beautiful and then there's also a Moana painting. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I did something new this time and we're in an inside room, meaning there's no window and no veranda. The reason I chose the inside room is cause well, it was significantly cheaper than the veranda and there was no ocean view option. I've always wanted to try out an inside room and see if it really makes a difference or not. I was kind of concerned about the lighting and it definitely is a little bit darker in here without a window, but I kind of thought this might be good for me because it might force me out of my comfort zone a little bit and force me out of my room more than normal. I tend to be a little bit of a hermit and I could stay in my room all day every day and would just be so content so i don't know it's definitely spookier let me show you guys around really quick so you walk in you have the mirror which this has a great lighting so getting ready and everything is going to be perfect with this lighting and then the bed with the wish blanket i think this is so so beautiful the tv is right here and it does kind of tilt towards the bed or towards the couch which is nice i still have a couch and a table over here is like a little closet you can just store some things um i have two of those and two little night lights it looks like the backdrop lights up i don't think it does i think it's just like yeah it doesn't light up but it looks like it does which is so cool um and then the bathroom is right over here there's only one bathroom with the toilet the shower and then the mirror but like it's just me so this is kind of perfect and i saved some money oh and then you also have a full-length mirror Woo! i think this room is so cute and what i'm hoping is like a really good thing like all the rooms are on like the main hallway but this one is like off to the side so i don't think i'm technically next to anybody so noise wise it actually might be pretty cool and also i'm on deck 11 so all the food and the pools and everything is on this deck so i really don't have to go very far which is nice so walking in they always spoil you with some little goodies so let's see what we got i totally forgot to bring my little key card thing from last cruise let's see if it's the same one oh my gosh it is i can't tell if this is like the 25th key card holder wait i think it is the card is still um 25th themed oh that's cute i don't know if it's just because they have them left over or if despite like the 25th theming being over if they still are like technically celebrating the 25th for like the year i don't know okay let's see what we got oh yeah it's time to cruise it's this little tote bag and this is what we got last time too when i was here with my mom but last time my mom took the tote bag so now i get one too and also i got a wand i was so excited i don't think they were passing these out on my last cruise like everyone i talked to said sometimes you just have to ask for a wand but like i didn't see anybody with a wand like not even the kids but i have my wand so we can make a wish hi i'm emily and you're watching disney channel so I just freshened up my makeup and I put on a skirt. I think I like it, the little teal. And it also matches 
my little friend. I don't know why I called them that. Actually, yeah, that matches perfectly. The little drill starts in... A mandatory emergency drill for all guests will take place today prior to sailing. I think since I'm already on deck 11, I'm just going to run and go get some water because I'm so thirsty. I just got this from Swig. It's 40 ounces and it has little pumpkins on it. I thought this would be perfect for the cruise because I can fill it up and then just like not have to run back and forth to the water as often. I'm going to bring my little wand with me too and we're going to go do the mandatory safety drill and then afterwards is when we all rush up to deck 11 and then we get to set sail on a wish which i haven't seen the full setting sail show because last time it was raining and they had to do it in the lobby and i think it was an abridged show so i'm so excited <laughs> setting sail the set sail on a wish party was so much better on the deck like I'm glad that they still do it in the lobby like if it rains or something but like seeing it on the deck was just so much more magical and getting a countdown and everything with like the screen because they use the TV and like little screens and stuff for a lot of it too they're doing the cruise horns <laughs> The sun is so bright right now, but I think it's about to be a beautiful sunset in like 30-ish minutes. And so now that we officially set sail, I think it's time to go get a little fun drink. Let's go. They play the most beautiful music. 
music over here. I think this is deck 12 and it's just like a random area, but they're playing Toy Story right now. You've got a friend in me, but it's like a beautiful acoustic version. This is the life. So I got the drink of the day, which is the Captain's Mai Tai. I always just love getting the drinks of the day. Plus they're cheaper, I think, than just a normal drink. Um, but this one's pretty good. So the sunset is probably gonna be in like 15, 30 minutes, which I don't wanna miss that. And I wanna be right like in front of the cruise horn. Maybe get some sunset pics. Let's look at my plans and make a little schedule. I'm such a planner. You couldn't tell. So Seize the Adventure, the Broadway show of the night is at 6.30 and 8.30. And then at 7.30, there's Who's Behind the Curtain where they have like a special Disney character. And um, it's in the Grand Hall, like the main lobby and you guess who it is. Unfortunately, I was watching a YouTube video about the Halloween on the high seas to kind of prepare myself, but I kind of saw, I saw like who it was. So I'll be curious if it's the same person behind the curtain or if they like change it up. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same person only because it's a Halloween cruise. So spoiler alert, I kinda know who it is. But if it is who I think it is, I really wanna see them. So, or or the part, or the, the character. Yeah, and there's only one show time of that, so I don't wanna miss that. And then that'll be perfect because the pumpkin tree is at 7.45. They have a learn to draw Captain Minnie Mouse at 9.30, which I definitely wanna do that at some point on the ship. It just doesn't have to be today. The main one I really wanna do is character photo with the Sanderson sisters at 10.30. Oh, we do have to eat at some point as well. Can't forget that. Will I go to the dinner or will I just eat pizza? Stay tuned to find out. My luggage came. My luggage always gives me such anxiety because I'm always just thinking like, what if they misplace it? Like, what if I'm the one person that just doesn't get my luggage? And I think that's a fair fear after going to Greece and getting my luggage lost. So I feel like I'm just always terrified my luggage is just never gonna make it. But it did, it did make it. And I thought it was really funny because when I went to go check it in, the guy that helped me out with my luggage put these little Disney fantasy tags on it because I did not bring my luggage tags. And I got a little nervous and so I just politely asked, I was like, these are going to the wish, right? And like, he was joking with me. So, so it was all in good fun. But he looked at me funny and he's like, yeah, the wish. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just wondering, cause these say fantasy. Um, but I like felt so stupid asking, but they said fantasy. So just wanted to double check. I can really feel the ship moving right now. Um, but I just wanted to pop back to my room because my phone was about to die. So I wanted to get my portable charger, freshen up, make sure my luggage made it. And then we're gonna party. Are we ready, Grand Hall? Is it a live action movie? Well, I can say, yes. Is it a girl? Yes, our special guests are girls. Is one got red hair? That's a very good question. Well, I can say, yes, one won. Yes, one. Do we think we know who it is? Are you willing to guess? Tell me, who is behind the curtain? The Sanderson sisters. Is it the Sanderson sisters? So we're gonna lock this in everyone. Is it the Sanderson sisters?
When I get back, I just quickly like came back to the room to drop my things off because it is time to go to the show. I've been getting so many compliments on my cup and like as it deserves. It's just, it's so cute. I am excited to just go like sit for a second because I feel like we've been so go, go, go. But let's go to the Walt Disney Theater and go see CZ Adventure. They're also playing Halloween music. I love it. Shout out loud and proud where you're from on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Where are you from? Yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to start out by drawing in the middle of the page sides of the We're going to do the same thing with the other ear. It's time to go meet the Sanderson sisters. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to meet them. I also changed into teal pants, literally the same color, just pants because it is getting a little cold. So let's go see where they meet and hopefully we'll be one of the first ones in line. Look who I have. I just have to show you who's on my purse. It's it's you essentially. Yes. Actually, I have all three of you and I have different outfits for each of the days. So yes. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to give you a little hug. So good to see you. And you look beautiful, Daisy. just ate some pizza so I'm feeling stuffed so it's about 11:30, and I'm trying to decide what I want to do I could either unpack my things get ready for bed take a shower go to bed early or I could go on a little walk a little hot girl walk around the ship you know put in my headphones just get a few more steps in walk off the pizza I could go check out the club I think I'm leaning towards going on a walk because I just don't think I'm ready for bed yet but before I do it's time for a haul so I found the Sanderson sisters ears this is what they look like from the front and from the back now here's a fun little story so if you watched my pack with me for disneyland video i found this dress from forever 21 that it's like this rustic orange and reminded me of the sanderson sisters and i was gonna do an outfit for oogie boogie bash then i decided to save that outfit for the cruise but when i got back home from disneyland i knew i wanted to get these ears to match my outfit and i went everywhere for them and they're sold out park wide meaning there are no more anywhere in disney world at least that's what I was told and I was so bummed because I was like these are what really pulled my outfit together to make it the Sanderson sisters vibe and so I thought to myself I was like you know there's a chance they might have the ears on the cruise like there's a chance and lo and behold the only ears they have on this cruise are these ears and these like I think they're lounge fly. They're brand new ears. I hadn't seen them anywhere. And they're like Halloween Disney Cruise ears. Those ears are really cool too. Next 
is this little orange shirt. Oh, was that a hole? Oh man, there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny little hole. Um, this is a kid's shirt, but it's the only Halloween shirt that I saw. I thought they would have like an adult Halloween shirt, but I couldn't find one. Maybe they do, but I just couldn't find one. I really wanted this shirt because it says Disney Cruise Line on the sleeve. Let me put this on and see if it even fits. This is cute. Just like a little baby tee. And then the last thing I got is this Halloween on the high seas hoodie. I really, really wanted something that said Halloween on the high seas. And I'm not even a hoodie person, but like, I actually think this is really cute. Here's the hoodie. But the reason I just like went ahead and bought everything is because I've learned my lesson. On Disney cruises, they have such a limited stock of everything. So especially stuff like this, like the Halloween on the high seas, limited edition merch. A lot of times it sells out really, really quickly. That's why I was like, let me just buy everything. I made sure it's all returnable in the event that I'm like, oh, actually, I don't need that. But yeah, that is my little haul. I think I'm going to go on my little hot girl walk. No, I'm going to go on my spooky girl walk because it's midnight and it's dark. And we're in the middle of the ocean. That's pretty spooky if you ask me. This is my Captain Minnie Mouse drawing. I think she's pretty cute. I was so confused on like how to draw the hat though. That's why the hat looks kind of weird because I really didn't understand how to draw like the 3D bill kind of thing. And my only other critique is her nose is way too big. And I love this quote at the bottom. It says, now to tell you the truth, I was never a good artist. I was never satisfied with what I did. I'm a gag man, an idea man, and that is still my forte. Walt Disney. I just really love that quote because I feel like that's what's been on my mind recently. I feel like I'm kind of an idea person rather than like someone who executes things perfectly. By the way, if you watched my Pack With Me For Disneyland video, I guess in a way that was also kind of like a prepare with me for the Disney cruise because a lot of the things I got also worked for this um, but I got this stuff from Sephora and I almost returned it because I was like I don't need it but I Dyson my hair before coming here and it's never felt more soft and I think it's this stuff and it only works when you um, use dryer heat but it's time to get ready for bed little update on the room I love it I actually think this might be my favorite cruise room I've ever stayed in which is crazy because I was so scared that I was gonna get like maybe a little claustrophobic in this room just because there's no windows and I don't think I've ever stayed in a room with no windows although my old apartment comes pretty close uh, if you know you know I was also worried like maybe I'd get a little sick and I won't lie I actually do feel a little sick right now but I'm not gonna blame it on the room I feel like last cruise i really didn't feel us moving at all and this cruise i really really feel it so what i'm learning about the disney wish is that each floor i think it's each floor is themed after a different disney princess and so last time we got the frozen room which i didn't even realize last time the rooms were different i thought they were all frozen and not only that depending on the princess you have you have a little icon outside of your door where it says your room number and then a little icon that matches your princess and the floor by the elevators has that same icon too and i noticed it this time because we have a little shell and although the shell is for moana to me my first thought is that it looks like vanessa's necklace that she wears or ursula's necklace i think they both wear it I mean, they're the same person. And that is really cool and ironic for a reason you'll see in a later vlog. Everything is just lining up perfectly. Oh, isn't this room just like so cute and cozy? But you know what I'm really sad about? I brought like eight tea bags with me, thinking like every night we're gonna have our little tea and get in bed, like we usually do in the sleepovers. But 
I don't know how to make tea here. I don't know if you're able to because there's no tea maker or coffee maker in my room. And then on deck 11, which is where I usually get my water refilled, you get all your sodas and stuff. They have coffee, decaf coffee. They have like hot cocoa. And I was like looking for like a hot water machine, but I couldn't find one. So I don't know if there's a way to make tea on the ship. That's gonna be a mission for tomorrow. But yeah, so to recap the day, oh, seize the adventure. I actually thought the show was like better the second time around. Not that it was bad the first time. I was half expecting to go into the show being like, oh, I've already seen this and like maybe be a little bored, but actually, I loved it even more. Many, many tears <laughs> were shed. I felt like I really like just listened to the lyrics more and I really resonated with them. There's this one lyric I wanted to share with you guys. I wrote it down because it was just so good. If you guys don't mind spoilers, I'm gonna talk about the show for like a second. There's a whole go with the flow musical number and he says, you're exactly where you're meant to be. So grab some shell and surf the EAC with me. I'm so cheesy. I literally, have a note in my phone of like the things they said. Another one I loved is at the end of the show, Minnie says, you can never go off course if you follow your heart. And that just perfectly resonates with me too. I've really, really been trying to like just be in the mindset of like, follow your heart. Don't worry about what other people think or what other people are gonna say, like just do you follow your heart. And so yeah, you can never go off course if you follow your heart. Also, Tiana's whole number was just amazing. That's definitely my favorite part of the show, for sure. And her line that got me was, people may say I'm crazy, but I don't care. And it's like, people may say I'm crazy for going on a little solo cruise. And I do care, but I want to be more like Tiana and not care. And then the Sanderson sisters were so fun. I'm so glad I met them and I'm definitely going to be meeting them the next two days. And it was a good thing I got there when I did because it was a really long line. Anyways, I am tired and it is time for me to go to bed. Tomorrow is just our day at sea, but I think it's also like the Halloween day. So that's going to be really fun and exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to keep up with my cruise adventures, make sure you subscribe down below. Feel free to like this video if you want more cruise vlogs and I'll see See you guys tomorrow yep yep tomorrow like actually tomorrow like <laughs>